What's up guys? So I just got done filming the Benchmade bug out video. This is the gold class uh, bug out. And uh, I want to talk about the thumbs. Thumbs up, thumbs down. You know, the thing right in the corner over there. Well, I want to ask you guys how you use this rating system. Now, if you watch YouTube videos for a long time, you remember it was different. It used to be the stars and all that. Now they've, you know, made it less complicated. It's either I like it or I don't like it, right? It's one of those two things. Uh, but I feel like some people use it wrong. Now, I'm using air quotes there because, you know, you can do whatever you want. There's no real right or wrong way. But what I feel happens a lot of times is I get thumbs downs on videos. And I feel like sometimes it's not because of the video. It's not because of me. It it's might be the subject, you know, the material that's in the video. For example, when I post a video on this knife, I'm going to get some thumbs down. But it's not because I made a bad video. It's because people don't like Benchmade. So is that the right or wrong way to use thumbs? I don't really know. I mean, like I said, at the end of the day, as a viewer, you get to hit that thumb for whatever reason. You know, whether you don't like me or you don't like the video content. I think sometimes people are expecting a certain type of video. Maybe you only subscribe to me to watch fishing videos. And uh-oh, I posted a knife review. <laughs> Thumbs down. Where's the fishing videos, you know? Now, I personally don't like the thumb rating system at all. I feel like if you hit the thumbs up or the thumbs down, you should be able to type out a comment. So as the content provider, I can click on, let's say there's 10 thumbs down. I can click on, I can read 10 reasons why people gave that a thumbs down. If nine out of 10 of those people said it's because the audio stunk in the video, then I would have a better understanding as to why people didn't like it. So that's just a suggestion for YouTube. And guess what? No one's listening, so that's not gonna happen. Um, or maybe it's too complicated or too expensive to do. Who knows? I'm making this video because I want you guys to tell me why you give me thumbs down. I want the feedback. I want the constructive criticism. There's good reasons to give thumbs downs and there's not so good reasons. I'll tell you a not so good reason. I post a knife review, but guess what? You just stepped in dog crap before you came inside, you hop on your phone, you see my knife review, you're kind of pissed off and you give me a thumbs down. That's not a good reason to give me a thumbs down. Let's say you want to watch the knife review and you blow it up on your massive 80 inch flat screen and it's blurry because the video is not in 4K. That's a more legitimate reason to give me a thumbs down. Now, as far as the video quality goes, uh, of course, I'd like to upgrade as soon as I can afford to the actual resolution of the video. So if you are watching on a bigger screen, you can blow it up. It'll be nice and crisp. Um, you know, obviously, if you're watching on a cell phone, it's not a big deal. But for people who are sitting at home, putting it on their living room TVs and stuff, yeah, that's where that can be a legitimate complaint and audio quality and things. I've been using the same camera for a long time. So like I said, I will upgrade that as soon as I can, hopefully in 2020, that'd be good. Now, when you're talking about the content itself, that's a little bit different because I just do what I do. I've always done the same thing. And some people see that as a good thing. Some people see it as a bad thing. You know, some people change as time goes on. I just like doing the same thing. I talk about my hobbies, you know, uh, the style of video where it's not like super, super choppy. You know what I mean? I'm not cutting out my ums and, and dead air and stuff. I'm just talking to you guys like you're sitting here at the table with me. All right. Some people like that. Some people don't. Anyway, I'm looking forward to the feedback down in the comment section. Uh, don't worry, you're not going to hurt my feelings. Just be very honest with me. If you give videos thumbs down, I'd like to know why. Just curious. Hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.